What is up, boosters? So today is the tutorial for Tunnel Vision. So when you get your download, you'll need to copy the file into your After Effects presets folder. So to do that, we can copy, and then we need to go into After Effects, Support Files, Presets, um, and I've got a folder here called Motion Boost, but you can make one if you don't. And then we can paste it in here. <clears throat> you will need to close and reopen After Effects for it to appear in the preset panel. And once you've done that, you're set up and ready to go. So if we search for the preset Tunnel Vision, we can double click that and you see we instantly get the preset loaded. And then we've got a whole load of controls down here. So if we close all of these and just open up the control panel. So if we leave these as they are, do not edit just to keep everything running smoothly. And you can just edit the controls. Um, all these controls are keyframeable, so they can be animated over time. So we'll start with the number of sides. So three creates this triangle, and then four gives you a square, pentagon, etc., etc. Um, you can also slide this, and you can end up with fractions. So like fourteen point five which gives you this weird kind of effect. Um, it is best to stick to whole numbers, but if you're animating between, you can kind of animate it and get this weird growing effect. So I'm gonna go back to three. And then the next one on the list is stroke width, which makes the width of the strokes bigger or smaller. So you can have really thin or really big. Then go back to like five, and then we've got these two checkbox here one for corner lines and one for double lines. So, corner lines if I hide that, corner lines shows and removes these lines that are coming from the corner of the shape. So, if we add this to four, you can then see there's four lines, one coming from each corner, and then double lines adds extra lines coming in from the sides. And again, if we up the number, it still all comes from the corners and from the double. So I'm going to put that one back down to three. So that's how those two checkboxes work. And then we've got tunnel speed. So at the moment we're on three. And we can crank that up, let's say 10, and now we've got really fast. So again, you can just play with that to get this kind of speed you want. I'm going to go back down to three. And then the next one on the list is end size. So that is the size of this end shape of the tunnel. So as you can see, if we make that smaller, the tunnel's really far in the distance and we can bring that up to make the tunnel smaller. And again, we can animate this over time. And then the next one on the list is gap. So that's the spacing between these lines. So if we make that smaller, you can see there's less lines and the more we increase the number, the more lines we get. And then the next one on the list is a global rotate. So that literally just rotates the whole shape. Put that back to zero. And then we've got an inner rotate, which does a couple of things. So I'll just tweak it to show you. So we get this really cool kind of twisted effect. What it does do is it removes the corner lines and the double lines automatically. So even if I've ticked these, they're not going to show. Um, but everything else other than, and it also stops tunnel size, but everything else still works. So we can still change the stroke width, the number of sides. So that's in a rotate. You can get some really cool effects with that. And then the next one on the list, if I just put that one back to zero and up the tunnel size, we've got kind of a tunnel going on here. Then the next one is center color. So if you make this red, you can see the center of the, the tunnel is red and the edge is this outside. So we can 
kind of create a gradient here, making that yellow, or if you want them to be the same, you can just pick exactly the same color for both, and it would just be a solid color. And then we've got just the glow, so we can just add a bit of glow to this if we want to. And we can make that yellow again to get that gradient. And now we've got this soft glow. So there we go, there's a lot to, to play with and a lot to um, explore. But the possibilities are kind of endless with this one. You can create a lot of interesting effects, especially with this inner rotate. You can really find some uh, hypnotic <laughs> kind of animations from it. So yeah, I look forward to seeing what you guys create with it.